Now here's an example of a video which I'm playing at normal speed. I've set this video to play at half the original size and I'm playing it simply within a VLC. VLC, if you don't know it already, is a free media player that you can download. What I've also done is take the same video and add it to Camtasia. Camtasia is video editing software. So all I've done is I've imported the video into Camtasia and added it to the timeline. So I'll select a place on the timeline, let's say over here, and then I'll expand the Camtasia view so that you can see the video better. So there's the video in Camtasia. And what I'm gonna do now is step forward one frame at a time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what you'll notice is every time I click through the frames, it's actually showing an individual picture or frame. In other words, this is very similar to traditional video. A video consists of individual pictures that are put together and when played, appear to be smooth. But in actual fact, it's simply pictures that are stitched together and your brain makes it seem fluid. Whereas in actual fact, it's not entirely fluid. We're gonna talk about frames per second in more detail in a moment. The more frames or more pictures that are displayed per second, the smoother the video will appear. So in this example, keep an eye on the stone that was kicked up by the car. Notice how it's moving across the picture one frame at a time, but it's jumping quite a distance when moving from one frame to the next. If more frames were taken per second, the movement of that stone would be more fluid or appear more natural. So the higher number of frames taken per second, the more fluid or better the picture is gonna appear to your eye and to your brain. The fewer frames per second, especially in high speed movements, the poorer the quality is gonna look. So this is playing at normal speed. I'll play that again at normal speed. And what you'll probably notice is the stones don't appear as fluid as they might if you were viewing this with the naked eye. An analog and digital video stream consists of pictures that represent a video. When stitched together and played at a certain frames per second, movement seems natural. And hence you can enjoy a video or movie, even though all you're actually watching is a set of pictures.